recording is on. All right. Thanks for whoever that was that reminded me to record this. This is what we're going to do. All right. So we, we preheated our oven to 350. All right. And then now she's lining up the, the sheet trays, the half sheet trays. We're going to do is we're going to do one at a time. So we're going to cut the ends, just this end off. I always don't cut a lot because I don't want to lose anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So take that off. And then what we're going to do now, we're going to cut this in half. And I'm going to line it up here. Hopefully your eggplant don't have too much seed. If you happen to see that it has a lot of seeds, you can, after it's cooked, you can throw some out. Try to fish some out. So, so when you, I, I usually do a lot of the shopping <laughs> when we do these shows. So are these considered medium-sized eggplants or like are these like kind of These are medium-sized. I've seen bigger. Okay. So. Like this. Like that, and then we're just gonna cut this like that. So, um, oh, you know what? Spotlight get rid of these. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. I thought I had this spotlighted. Let me uh, spotlight. Uh, let's see. Do medium settings. I have lots of seeds in my legume. I didn't know we had to remove them. But do we have to remove the seeds? From? Like from the, from the eggplant? Uh, no. Okay. No, sometimes after you cook it, it looks, it, it might look like it has a lot of seeds. And if you like the seeds, that's fine. If not, uh, just uh, fish some out. You don't have to get rid of all of them. Sometimes it's annoying when you're eating it and then it has a lot of seed. But these look perfect. This looks like a... Uh... Yeah, so if you have like a, a very seedy one, you can fish some of it out, but you know. Right. So now we're gonna drizzle some uh, olive oil. Like that. And uh, I have some salt here. I use sea salt, guys. That's what we use in Haiti. So I'm always certain things I would use kosher salt, maybe when I'm baking. But to cook uh, savory food, I use sea salt. I think it's tastier. You can. Yeah, this session is being recorded. So um, after the session is over, I'll uh, I'll post it to the YouTube channel. And then we're gonna. That's black pepper. That's black pepper. Some fresh. Uh, if you don't have fresh black pepper, you can use. <clears throat> you can definitely use whatever you have in your kitchen. I hope this doesn't make me sneeze. This thing always gets me. <laughs> There we go. So all you do is uh, just rub it in like that and then turn it upside down. And then this is gonna bake for about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. So you will know that it's ready when you press on it like this and then your finger sticks in. So. But it's about about 40 minutes, you said? You're going to yes. put it in there? Yes, because by the time we do the sauce <coughs> and the rice, 
This will be ready. Okay, perfect. And the YouTube channel is Bon Manger with Chef Mai Ali. On, on what, on what um, degrees is the oven? 350. Oh, 350. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the name. I'm sorry? Thank you for sharing the YouTube name. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. I'll post the link, um, like towards the end because you know, I'm the cameraman today. <laughs> Not a problem. You Doing know. a good job. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. So what are we going to get into now? Mom? So now I'm going to finish, um, uh, prepping the, um, cabbage okay. and then we'll get, uh, with the sauce part after that. All right, cool. Okay. So this part is very, it's not, it's not edible. Let me see that part again. Oh, sorry. So we're just gonna cut it out like this. And then like that. And this we throw it away. Now we cut it in half. Usually I just do like this. This was a very small cabbage, so I'm gonna use the whole thing. But if yours is very big, you can uh, you can use probably half or three quarters of it. So you drop the. I, so I must have dropped the this is how I I wash it. Okay. So once I um once I cut it up, I wash it and then I take it out. So I just let it soak just in case there's anything in there. So that. Sorry. Is it being um is the water soaking the cabbage with salt or without? Oh no, just just without salt, just to wash it. I'm gonna take it out. Oh, so that's your spinach. The spinach. <laughs> Nadine. Nadine said I could social distance drop off the legume at her house. <laughs> uh, how about social distance? Uh, you know, you could maybe come get a plate if there's any left after me and my family eat. Where are you guys from? We're in Maryland. Ah, Maryland, okay. Watching from Jersey. Oh, Jersey. I have Jersey in the house. Yes, <laughs> North Jersey by East Orange area. Oh my, wow. We're here from Georgia. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. How is it over there? Is everybody going back to the You're from Connie's, Georgia. Hey, we got Toronto in the house. Toronto? Yeah, they're opening up things okay. over here. It's crazy. To the Jersey person, North Jersey. This is South Jersey. How are you? <laughs> How are you, Sandra? <laughs> okay, so I'm from Atlantic City. Where are you? You're outside of Orange? <laughs> yeah, I'm in downtown Newark. Oh, love it. Okay. Oh, Newark. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We're about to uh, mash up our chayote. So, yes. Yeah, so, the chayote has been washed and peeled and boiled until it got tender. So I drained it and now I'm about to just mash it. Okay. The chayote and the eggplant, once it's get ready, get mashed. I wanted to know, hi, good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to know, can you use like a food processor or does it have to be like the Haitian style with the pilon? I mean, you know, I'm so stuck to the old ways, but I also do things uh, different. I just feel that I like to see a little bit of what I'm eating because I see people want the this so soft, 
that you can't even recognize it in the dish. Um, I like it to have a little texture and have an idea of what you're eating. But you can if you want, but it'll be like a, uh, how do you say, labui? Like a, like a puree. Yes, and I, I'm, I'm not so, you know, fond of that. Please tell me what it is that you are mashing now. That Say that again. What is it that you are doing? What is the name of the, the, the vegetable? Um, I, I didn't get that, that you're mashing, that you're now putting in the bowl. Oh, this is the chayote. It's called chayote. Is it Can you chayote? keep the skin on? Yeah, chayote. Yeah. Can you keep the skin on the chayote or no? You have no, to take it off. No, absolutely not. The skin is not edible. Uh, some people, uh, maybe the eggplant, some people like, uh, like to eat the skin of the eggplant, but you know, I guess it's an individual thing, I guess. Yeah, we don't keep the skin on our eggplant. Right. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna It's chayote milotin. 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 I'm sorry. Yes, for my Haitian people. <laughs> it's milotin. So now we're gonna start on the black beans. I have all my ingredients ready to go. Okay. So wait, did you do something with the chayote that I missed? No, I just smashed oh, it. Oh, you just smashed it and yeah. put it to the side. Okay. Yeah, this is all my prep for the... But now we're going to start on the bean. All right, did everybody soak your beans? I sent out like maybe three emails about soaking beans and boiling them for an hour. So who did that? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> y'all about to have some hard bean sauce bar. <laughs> If so this is my bean, and uh, it's uh, already been soaked overnight and boiled uh, this morning for about an hour. And you know that it's cooked when you can put it in your finger and then you press it like this, and then it splits in half. So, so what we're gonna do now? We're gonna Strain it. Let me just. Uh. Now, I mean, the bean sauce is not mandatory for legume, but we're, we're making a veggie legume. So there's no meat in the one that we're making. So the, the black, the sauce foie, you know, really goes well with uh, with the white rice. And, you know, the sauce bar is like a side dish for the legume and white rice, just so you have something extra on the plate, in my opinion. Right, right. Okay, you Shirley, you can, I see Shirley has her hand waved. You could, you know, ask a question. All right, everybody, we are, uh, what spice did you boil the black bean with? What spice? Mm -hmm. um, I, um, I didn't boil it with any spice. I could have boiled it with garlic and onions and scallions, but since my son over here didn't put that in the <laughs> <laughs> And I wanted to keep up with everybody, so no. I didn't boil it with any spice for that. And you guys are ready to eat. It'll be, it will be the same taste as ours. But I have uh, minced and chopped some garlic and onion that's gonna go in it. All right. So. So very important to keep this uh, sauce, the, the water, the black water. So um, when you drain your black beans, don't get rid of that water because we're going to be using that as well. Okay. So now we have our pot on uh, medium-high heat. 
And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put some uh, oil in there. And then we're going to add some of our apis and uh, onions and shallots and uh, chili powder. That's what's going to give it most of the flavor. What and kind of oil are you gonna you gonna put in there? I use uh, I use olive oil, believe it or not. Some people think it's just for salad, but if you're not gonna fry something, mm -hmm. you don't need any high heat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you can use your olive oil for whatever you cook. Okay. So, I'm sorry, I missed what's in the pot. What's in the pot on the stove now? Oh, nothing. Nothing is in there. I just want oh, to show okay. you that. People are asking about your apron. Oh, uh, uh, Rashida. Rashida is on here. <laughs> this is my oh. Bomaje apron. This one is kind of big, so it's okay. <laughs> this is actually yours. I didn't just want to have to. Just wanted to clarify. This is for the legume and not for the beans, because I'm confused as to what's gonna go in the beans and what's gonna go in the legume. Oh, okay. So I have all my prep over here for the legume, and on this side, it's gonna be for the uh, beans. Okay. So, so right now, this pepper is for yeah, the for yeah. the beans. And this is going to be totally uh, vegan. So the only thing that I'm going to use, and that's just for me, and it's up to you, if you want to use it, is some butter. So other than that, everything else is vegan. So what, what do we have here in this um, prep? So we have some... Um, this, this is for the beans, right? That's for the beans, yes. Okay. So we have some uh, chopped onions and garlic, and we also have... Uh, Scallion. Uh, scallion and some chili pepper, paprika, and um, black pepper. Okay. Okay. And we are also going to use a bouquet garni, which has a thyme, parsley, bay leaf, and some cloves. And also, we're going to make dumplings for the for the bean. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. But we're going to uh, put it together first, make sure all the spices are blended in and they get to know each other. And then. <laughs> all right, cool. So, so, I did send out an email also about the cheesecloth. So, but the cheesecloth, which is this thing right here that she's going to make a garnish. So, uh, she's going to wrap all those up. In the, in the cheesecloth, but if you also have any, if you don't have cheesecloth, you can wrap it up with like some twine or something just so that it doesn't go all over the place. No, oh, it can, uh, it can. So what we're doing here. Someone asked about if we were to make meat with the legume. Oh yes, that's a good question. I wish we were making meat today. I actually wanted to um, to make some uh, um, blue crab with this legume, but what you would have to do first is um, where are you going? Cook the, the, um, make you cook your meat first, and then once your meat is tender, you know you marinate it. And once it's tender, you take it out, and then you start right where I'm about to start right now. <laughs> okay. So, All right, so you put the beans in like this blender. Well, this is right. like the magic bullet. Right. Uh, if you have a blender, you can use it, but I am using my magic bullet. The reason being is uh, I don't have to strain it afterwards. Because mm -hmm. uh, the whole idea of having beans and eating healthy is to be able to absorb some of the fiber. If you strain it, then everything gets tossed in the garbage. Yeah. So how much of the beans did you put? Uh, yes, that's beans and the water from the, from the beans that we boiled in the magic bullet. 
So how much of you put like about what like a half a cup of beans in there? Uh it's two almost two cup. It's two about cups. a pound. No, <laughs> that you just put in the magic bullet. Oh, I'm gonna my magic bullet is not big enough to Sorry, I need to leave a message, a question. So I'll be doing it twice. Oh, okay. I don't want to say it. So. Oh, <laughs> I'm over here. Okay. So we're going to fry up on this. Will all the beans be blended? Not all of it, some of it. So I'm going to season my onions with some salt. And then let it go for a minute or two while I'm blending my Just for about 30 seconds. Maybe it was a little longer than that, huh? It's all good. So I'm gonna add my garlic. The garlic goes in. The garlic can go in with the chili powder. You're creating flavor right now. Just for a couple of minutes, and then it will be ready. Um, at this point, you can add some of your beans. Some people like a lot of beans. Some people like a little bit of beans. It's really up to you. So beans. with the sauce bar, I mean, it's still going to be like the puree, but you're still going to have some whole beans in there. Right, exactly. That's, that's how we do it. Awesome. So at this point, we can pour this in. Some people strain it. I decide not to because I like all the fiber. It helps me with... The stuff that beans do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead now and finish uh, blending the rest of my beans. This camera man job is um it's hard. It's <laughs> Garnish. Yeah. Uh, it comes in handy because the clove that goes in there, you don't want it in the black bean soup because if it's not edible, but it gives uh, your food a lot of flavor. So the bouquet garni will be able to hold it back so it doesn't go in the food. And I'm just gonna pour the rest of the the water that the beans get cooked in. This. I don't think the the cheese cloth is reusable. No. Do you ever use ground clove? 
Oh, uh, yes. In fact, I have some, yes. But I prefer to use this when I have it. Gotcha. So I'm going to just add two, maybe just one cup of uh, the, this is just vegetable broth that I made. Is it broth or stock? Is there a uh, difference? Stock. It's What's the difference much. between broth and stock? It's in the same thing. Okay. <laughs> So since I'm going to put some, um, um, dumbre, how do you say that? Dumbre. <laughs> dumbre. Who knows uh, what dumbre is? Nobody knows? It's dumpling. Dumpling. Um, <laughs> since I'm going to put some dumplings in there, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need to, uh, you know, for it to be a little uh, liquid like this, because once you put the dumpling in, it's gonna start uh, to thicken up a little bit. So at this point, I'm just gonna put the black pepper and the paprika that goes in. And then I'm gonna add some scallions and a scotch bonnet. The thing about scotch bonnet, you can always take this off so that the flavor can go in, in the food. Uh, but if you want to make it real spicy, you can cut it in half. And put the whole thing in there? You can put the whole thing in there and cut it in half. Okay. And then we have some uh, dice. Red pepper. Okay. And I have here some um, vegetable cube just for flavor. You just break it in there. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. So, what's going to happen now? It's going to boil. And then in the meantime, I'm going to make the dumplings. OK? All right. Get rid of some of these. And we're not going to add any salt or anything like that until it gets to the consistency that I like it, or the way you're making it, if you like it thick, or if you like it more liquid, it's up to you. All right. My yep. mom likes to clean as she cooks. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, that's the Haitian way, man. I am the same oh, way, and I'm Haitian American. <laughs> <laughs> Only 30. I love it. I love it. Easy for you. Absolutely. I don't like things to pile up and then it looks all messy. My father West in, was West Indian, and he was a chef. And so he did the same thing. He always had a sink of hot soap, uh, soapy water, and he cleaned as he cooked. You never knew where the food came from, because everything was very <laughs> beautiful. That's how it's supposed to be. Yes, epi, that's it. I'm just adding some of my epis in there. It's called destroying the evidence, right? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> How'd you make that? You'll never know. There we go. All right, so let's start making the dumpling. So, I'm sorry, what did you just add? What was the last thing you added? Uh, what was it? The last thing we added was the pepper, the belt. Um, no, it the was a spoon. It was a spoon. And a piece. And a spoon? The oh, apple. was it the red pepper? Oh, you said oh, epis. Oh, that was epis. It was the epis. Epis. Oh, the epis. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the it's the spice, like the Haitian spice that we make homemade. So, if you want the recipe for that, it's on my YouTube channel. It's very easy to make. Could you yeah. just thank you? Could you just repeat yeah. everything that's gone into the pots so far? Everything that went into the pot? So far. Uh, missed anything. For the soup? For yeah. the black beans? All right, so first we 
fried some onions and garlic and the chili powder. And we added some paprika and uh, black pepper. Paprika. And then we put Mm -hmm. And then we add, we put some, uh, we put the scotch bonnet and the scallion, and I put one vegetable um, bouillon, but that's optional. And the bouquet garni. And the bouquet garni. The bouquet garni has thyme, parsley, uh, bay leaf, and uh, cloves, whole cloves, about four or five of them. Thank you. All right, <laughs> <laughs> so I do have one question, please, in reference to the bouquet de garni. Was it in the cheesecloth or yeah. did you just put it? Okay. Yeah, it was tied up in the cheesecloth. I mean, you can put everything in there. You really don't need the bouquet garni, but you just have to go back and fish everything out. Fish it out. Serve it. Oh. All right, so. Hey, Rashida, you remember these Tupperwares <laughs> from Lennox Road? Yeah, I know. Those are from the <laughs> <Mala Boo -Boo. laughs> <laughs> Those might be older than me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Question, once the beans are boiling, do we put it down and cover it? The heat for the beans. Do you put the heat down once the beans? Are... Uh, once it's still boiling, uh, boy, when it's once it comes to a boil, we're gonna let it simmer down under lower low heat. And the water that you soak the beans in in the morning, do you throw that water out and put new water in to cook it? You don't keep the, or do you keep the same water that the beans soaked in? Over yes, you put you put it back in there. Yes. You can use that, and if you don't have enough, you can supplement it with uh, with whatever uh, stuff you have. Some people use water. It's up to you. Do you ever use bacon to flavor the, the bean sauce? Absolutely. <laughs> if I wasn't uh, making a vegan dish, I would definitely fry up some bacon. Um, I do have something. All right, so this is the flour. Right, that's just for the dumpling. We're just going to use about one cup of flour. Uh, and we're going to use some water, like uh, one cup of water. I can't. Could you use chickpea flour for this? I'm using uh, all purpose flour. But what was your question? Could you use chickpea flour? Oh, uh, yes, you can. Chef Marielle, the ratio is one to one, right? For, uh, yes, for yes, but. Uh, making dumpling is a little tricky, so I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt in here. But you're going to add, um, you cannot add your water as you need it so that um, you can put the salt either in here or in there. It really doesn't matter. And then you have you add a drop of all oil, doesn't matter what kind of oil. And then you mix it up a little bit to dissolve the salt. Okay. I see some people put all purpose flour. There's really no need, I mean, uh, baking powder. There's really no need to because you're not going to poof anything to elevate it. So, so what we're going to do now, we're going to use a spoon. Let me get... So we're just going to make a little well. 
And then just put a little bit at a time until it comes together. Can you add Lalo to this legume? Absolutely. You can add Lalo, you can add watercress, you can add, you know, whatever greens you like. How do you call Lalo in English? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Jute leaves. Huh? Jute leaves, J U T. Oh, juke leaves. Is that juke leaves? Yeah. J U T? Uh, T E. J U K O T E? No, J U T E. T -E. John oh. Umbrella. Timothy. Right, right, right. I got you. So when you get to this point, you can't do this with the gloves. You can't do this with anything. You just have to make sure that your hands are clean because you have to go in with your hands. To make sure that it's well needed and, um, and then it comes together. So. All you do is just take one side and fold it to the other side, just like that. And if you feel that it's sticking to your finger like this is doing, you just sprinkle a little more flour. Not a lot. So you didn't use all that water yet. Are you going to use more of it? Uh, nope. <laughs> so probably all we needed was like a quarter, a quarter cup. But I do it like this because I know the measurement so that it doesn't get uh, salty. So it's not an exact measurement, it's just how it feels, like how the right. texture you're trying That's, to get it. Yeah, you're trying to get it to be nice and smooth and uh, yeah. until it doesn't stick to your finger, use your hand. I mean, I could put it on a flower table See, now it's nice and smooth. And uh, so people make their uh, dumpling uh, different ways. <laughs> some people like it big, some people like it small, some people like it the long way. Since this is considered like a soup that we're making, and uh, when you make a soup, this is a little sticky, so I'm just gonna put a little more flour. I like to make it mine small so that it fits in your spoon when you eat it. So you can make, you can make yours however you want it. Now this is perfect. You see, it's not sticking. So what I like to do is go ahead. Uh, so the dumpling is, uh, you said it makes it thicken the soup as well. It right? does, yeah. So, because this is flour. <coughs> I mean, uh, and I know Haitian people will like it like this. <laughs> For the long way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And some like it fat, some like it skinny. That's usually how you make it in the in the bouillon. They, they put dump, you put the dumpling in the bouillon. Yeah, I like to way. make it small because, like I say, when you this is kind of like a they call it black bean soup. So when you eat. Soup, you want everything to fit in your spoon, even when you're making mm. 
bouillon when you cut your plantains and uh, and your yucca or whatever it is. Don't cut it like big, huge pieces because you know you're gonna need to serve it. Then you need a knife. Mm -hmm. Cut it, mm -hmm. so it's better to just mm -hmm. pick it up with your spoon and put it in your mouth. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. So big shout out to I, I think we have a few uh, Haitian ladies in the house from Haitian Ladies Network. So shout out to Nadine. Shout out to who else is on Nadine? Rachel, Karen, Ariel. Nadine says she wants to uh, come and be a sous chef. Oh, yes. Days. Yes, come and be a guest. So the next season of Bon Manger is we're going to feature like a sous chef. So my mom is going to welcome someone into the kitchen and, 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 and helping him like and, 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 and also everyone so whatever, speak of new mm -hmm. and he was like oh I my know. god you just taught me so much you just and a lot oh of uh, people he says, he says, as i was talking to you, their kids in the my background wife was telling me, let's go for a ride <laughs> you know i have to go to get rid of the garbage you don't even have can to you put it on mute because you only mute your sound can you mute yourself? House in, okay, you know, let me almost see if I can find who Maybe put someone on blast. I was worried about you, but you said I'm so nervous about the asthma. Yeah, you can mute everyone. All this other stuff, so I really want to be careful. Yeah, let me do that. And stuff like that. Uh, let me see. And mute. so he was saying how it's so difficult for him because he's like, he's the leader. All right, there we go. All right. I'm usually, I usually do my Zoom conferences from my laptop, so I'm, Today I'm doing it from my cell phone. This is my first time doing something from cell phone. So still getting used to all of the controls. All right. All right, so we're all done. So all we have to do now, the reason I waited until I finished everything so that everything can be cooked at the same time. So. Auntie Fofo. Auntie Fofo is there? Yeah. Oh, this one got stuck. Okay. She said, keep up the good work, sis. <laughs> Thank you, sis. This one was a little stubborn. That's why I don't like to do it like that. <laughs> there we go. And at this point, you have to continue to stir it so that they can't, they don't, they don't stick together pretty much. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this at medium high. All right, everybody. So, how's your how's your your stuff looking so far? Yeah. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the camera. Whoever's cooking along with us. Okay, Mara. Mara got flour all over her hands. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Nice to meet. You. Uh, All right. <laughs> I can't get All right. My my, my sauce so squad is looking pretty good. All right, my love. Good job. All right. Let's see. Who else is cooking with us? I think everybody thinks that we cooking for them. <laughs> so they're just waiting for us to be ready so they could come and eat with us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm cooking too. I'm just making the legume part. So I'm waiting for that part. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So Natalie is making the legume. Oh, so yeah. she's waiting for that part. Okay, yeah. so I'm cooking too. Rachel. While this is going, we're going to make the rice. Okay. So you like to use uh, jasmine rice. I use jasmine rice. Yeah. And jasmine rice is a lot different than making like regular white rice. Right, right, because it, it cooks quick and the rice to water ratio is very important. Yeah, uh, all the cleaning happening as we're going. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. 
Uh, you discovered black rice and I used it. It was, it was really good. Is that something that uh, you would consider using in this dish or does it have, does it have to be, be a white? She said, would you consider using uh, the black rice, jojo, with this dish or do you have to use white rice? Oh, you can use black rice. You can make black rice. Um, like a jui jonjon with the legume, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't need the sauce bar, really. You can just have the black rice with the... Oops. Nadine got kicked out of the legume. Nadine, are you cooking or are you just watching? So what I'm going to do right now is give it a taste. Oh, it's going to need a little <laughs> bit of salt later on, but I'm going to let it reduce first so that I don't put too much. All right. All right. So for the um, rice, which is the easiest thing in the world, making white rice. So, so you don't gonna, you don't cover this? You just let it kind of like go. Yeah, if you cover it, it might come and over uh, close. Yeah, I don't that's know true. I should do that. All right. Um so for the rice, turn on turn on the heat on high. Um Nadine says she's not cooking, but she's learning. <laughs> That's, That's good. good. Absolutely. Absolutely. So dinner at Nadine's house. <laughs> We're going to be eating the legume that she learned today. Ah. All right. So for the right. Uh, oh, I turned on the wrong thing. So for the right, this is all dried up. So we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. All right. And oh, it smells good. Oh, oh man, that <laughs> tastes good. Man, that smells great. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna let that heat up a little bit. So you make your own stock. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to do a video on that, but I have in my book, I have like three or four different stocks that I make. Mm -hmm. You can know, you can, give us the name of the book, or can I get that from your website? Oh, I'm sorry, no. I, <laughs> I'm working on it, it's in editing right now, <laughs> and then it's gonna go to publish to the publisher, and then, uh, you know. Uh, I don't have an exact time, but it's gonna be. Well, I guess I'm the publisher, so I have to. <laughs> it will be coming out on Thoroughbred Books. Right. Uh, so I'm also a publisher. I publish um, history books for children, about Haitian history mostly, a lot of the Haitian heroes and Haitian, uh, events in Haitian history. So I've published uh, four books so far. And, um, but my next book is going to be my mom's cookbook. So she's working diligently on it. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have it ready available by the end of the year, before the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. So look out for that for sure. I'll be looking for it now. <laughs> absolutely, you. absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations. Did you Thank just you. add? Did you just add scallion to the what rice? Thank you. Somebody's paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over here promoting my books. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. what I did, uh, I add, I put two about two tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm gonna fry some scallion just for to give the white rice a little flavor. Uh, you can also put a garlic in there if you want to, but everything else here has garlic. I don't think the rice is going to... Just to flavor it a little bit. So did you... Um, I know there's a, a lot of people 
uh, well, we're Haitian, so we wash everything. But as far as washing your rice, where, where do you stand on that? <laughs> <laughs> Of the day. She I said yes to day. remove the starch. <laughs> I saw one of her videos. She said yes. Yes. Yeah. Whether it comes in the package and the package says it's been washed three times, I still wash. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I mean, when you guys are cooking, just buy the good stuff. If you're cooking for yourself or your family, try to get everything, especially vegetables, try to get everything. Know, good quality, uh, you know, organic if you can, because that definitely makes a difference in your cooking. Can you taste the difference when you're using organic um, it's stuff? It's not like you can, it probably tastes the same, but at least you know you're not eating a bunch of pesticides yeah, and, and uh, you know. Are there any are there any veggies like okay if you have to get it if you can't find it organic like what's something that doesn't really need to be organic? Uh, like the eggplant, it doesn't really need because it has unless you're gonna eat the skin. Mm -hmm. So if you're just gonna okay, give me a second. I'm gonna okay. add two cups of water. And um the eggplant should be about 45 minutes in the oven, right? Yeah. yeah, it's going. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt. And you're still using the sea salt, right? Sea salt, correct. And uh, the only thing now, I'm gonna give it a little stir. And then I'm gonna wash my rice. Okay, what do I have here? Just... Can you guys hear the Haitian music in the background? <laughs> I don't know. We have it on real low. No, we can't hear it. Music. Oh, y'all can't hear it? Oh, man. You might have to turn it up a little bit. Yeah, we can do that. So this is a uh, white jasmine rice. I like the, I like everything that does not come from China. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, this one is Goya. Who knows? It might have I don't know, but it's, mm -hmm. it's and that was two cups of rice. <laughs> that was two uh -huh. cups of rice. Oh, two cups of rice, correct. All right, Nadine has to leave. So thank you for joining us, Nadine and Haitian uh, Ladies Network. They have a meeting. Yeah, so. uh, tell Nadine we're gonna be making chaka. Is our next uh, dish because that was a, a lot of people asked for that. Mm -hmm. So, so we'll be making that. If she wants to be my sous chef, <laughs> honored. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how good I would be. You, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I'm a good eater. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> I could definitely attest to Nadine being a good eater. Every time I go to uh, uh, Port-au-Prince restaurant in Silver Spring, she's always there. Picking oh. up food or eating there. So shout out to Chef Don Berto. Yes, Don Berto. <laughs> what the uh, thank you so much for everything. I look forward to seeing you and for you to be my sous chef. It's not and, just me. Uh, there's a committee of ten of us, so I don't know if you if you if you want to have all ten of us in the kitchen with you. We're ready. Oh, we're ready we, to we learn. Actually, we talked about that. We said we would like to do something for the Haitian. <laughs> Absolutely. So it'll happen. Don't oh. worry. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, thank so. you for taking time of your busy schedule to be on here. 
So now oh, no, we should be thanking you. We should be thanking oh. you. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Haitian oh. ladies everywhere for joining in this. This has been a great partnership. I have to shout out yeah. Franz for his books. You have to get yeah. his history books for your, not for you, just for your children, but for yourselves as well. You'll learn a oh, lot yeah. about it's Haitian history. Of, yeah, it's a lot of information. All right, let me go so I don't mess up your class. <laughs> All right, thanks, Megan. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right, so uh, I noticed uh, you washed your rice a few times, not just... Uh, yes, I usually do three times. Three times. Yes. Oh, somebody was counting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your name, ma'am? Kestia. Kestia? Kestia, oui, like Aichi? Oui, K-E-S-T-I-A, Kestia. Oh, oh, nice. That's nice. I'm in Florida. Oh, wow. Where? Which part? Uh, Miramar. It's south of Fort Lauderdale. Miramar? Yes. That's where we used to live. That's where we live. I lived in Miramar <laughs> for 15 years. Oh, wow. Close to university. Oh, I'm right on university in Pembroke. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we were. Oh we were goodness. neighbors and we didn't know. <laughs> we didn't even know. Oh my lord. I used to work at that IHOP over there. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. So now you guys are in oh. Boston. Cool. Okay, so someone asked about the scallion. We cut it lengthwise. Uh, right? Or no. no, we chopped it in half. In half, yes. Okay. So the scallion is going to stay in. Now that it comes to a boil, I'm just going to lower the heat on low, all the way to low. And then cover it up. Oh, Nancy is in the house. What's up, Nancy? And then it should be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, cool. Yeah, so let's check on this. See what's going on here. Okay, am I have to raise the heat a little bit so it thickens How many up. people does this recipe serve? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say about six to seven. Mm -hmm. Maybe five to six. Somewhere we always have here. a lot of sauce pot left over. Right. But um, as far as the, the legume, the like, legume like about six. Plenty, yeah, yeah, six to seven. And that was four medium-sized eggplant? Four eggplants and two chayotes. And two chayotes. That's our, that's our scotch bonnet, our pima right there. Looking good. I think I'm ready to... to... Man, can you guys smell this through the phone? No. <laughs> Man, that smells delicious. I'm going to have fun eating that. I might have to cut... Uh, pepper, so it could be a little spicy. Okay. So I'm gonna this. I mean, we don't have to leave it in there uh, until it gets a little spicy. Then we'll take it out. And I you just, just punch a hole in there. Yeah. Cut it in half a little bit. Yeah. And I think it's ready for some salt. Do I have to measure it? <laughs> <laughs> You don't, we don't really measure things too much. You know, like take a pinch <laughs> and throw it in there. Just a little pinch. Okay? Salt to taste, exactly. Yeah. Because everybody likes their salt differently. I might like mine a little more saltier. Mm -hmm. Somebody might not have like salt at all. So. Is that a challenge? Like when you're doing the cookbook, like to figure out like... Oh, all right, I cause... always put salt to taste. Mm -hmm. Unless you're marinating your meat, mm -hmm. uh, something like that, or if you're baking, then then I'll tell you exactly. Right, because okay, it's pretty much like uh, like what you like. It's it's like right. your to your taste. Yes, yeah, salt, okay. to, salt to taste to, to your liking. To your liking, yeah. Okay. All right, good. Okay. How's our eggplants uh, looking? Do it like it still needed some um, more time? Yeah. Uh, it's getting somewhere, but it's a little. See the the small the small ones are about to be ready, but this one is gonna take a little time. Let me just go like this. 
we could have actually cut it some more. It would have taken, I didn't think of that. It would have taken maybe a little less time. Mm -hmm. So I think our yeah. sauce for is ready. All right. I'm just gonna taste one more time. Let's see. Why don't you boil it or steam it, the eggplant? Because you lose all the vitamin. Yep. It's Good. ready. I'm gonna turn it off. All right. And uh, now get ready for the eggplant. So this is all our prep for the eggplant. So we got some tomato paste. Did you guys find the um what's it called? The herb the herb de Provence? Oh yeah. <laughs> it took me That's forever to right find here. that herb de Provence thing. It, um, it's uh it's uh, it's from the south of France and uh well you know French food is like the <laughs> culinary food, so right. I found it in Whole Foods. Actually, I had to call somebody to go and find it for me because I couldn't find it for the longest time. But it's in Whole Foods. In Whole Foods. Okay, cool. I found the I found the last one, but it was like a high quality one. It was like almost ten dollars at um at Giant. But it was like the last one. They didn't have a lot left. I know it's a combination of uh, majoran, uh, sage. Um, thyme, uh, it doesn't have parsley, but it has lavender and it also has uh, rosemary. Mm -hmm. So it's like a mix. Oh. And it's perfect for meat. If you have any leftover and then you're making a steak or whatever type of protein, make that an addition. Put that in there, it'll taste delicious. I'm over here looking at your um, tomatoes. Oh, yes. These tomatoes, I boil so that I can remove the skin. Yeah, you don't, you don't like this tomato skin. No, for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> because I work in some fancy kitchen and this was a no-no. Oh, so yeah. in a lot of kitchens, well, not a lot of kitchens, but a lot of restaurants no, like, uh, steal their tomatoes. Yes, if you go to some uh, restaurants in uh, uh, the uh they, you know, they would not. And most of the time when she peels her skin, she does something like this with it. <laughs> Like she turns it into, that's a, a grapefruit. And she turned it into like a grapefruit flower. She doesn't waste anything, I tell you that. Oh yeah, it serves as uh, air conditioning for your house. Yeah, like this, a freshener. Yeah, air freshener. <laughs> so it's a natural air freshener made of grapefruit skin. Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, awesome. So we're just pretty much waiting for our sauce is ready. So that's over there. Um, the rice is pretty much almost ready. So we're just waiting for the eggplant to, to get ready. Now the, the prep for the eggplant, are those carrots uh, that's over there, carrots? Uh, yes, we have uh, spinach mm -hmm. and we have the chayote and we have uh, cabbage. cabbage. Mushroom, carrots, bell pepper, scotch bonnet, herb de Provence. There's a couple of oh, um, vegetable cubes. bouillon cubes. Yeah. And then we have black pepper, herb de Provence. Tomato paste. Tomato paste, garlic, um, paprika, and onion. And of course, we're going to add some of our eggs. Yes. What can I use as a substitute for um, tomato paste? Because I cannot have that. Oh, 
Well, you can use a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have tomatoes, tomato paste? No, I cannot have anything that's not natural. And I can't have anything from a can, that's what I mean. Oh, really? But they sell it in a tube also. Maybe you can get the tubes ones. What is the brand for the one in the tube? Uh, I think they all make it. Uh, Contadina, Hans, they all make it. Uh, you'll find it where you have uh, the tomato paste and tomato sauce in that aisle. Trader Joe's has it. Or maybe Trader Joe's, definitely. We can actually start making the prep for the for the um, legume. So, oh, let's take a look at the. So this is uh this is the pot we're using for the legume. Yeah. This is the copper pot. Right? Uh huh. Tomato skin, all of them. <laughs> um, about the tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Whole Foods has the tomato paste, and this is it. Okay, okay. and it's one hundred hundred percent organic, and it's in a jar. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So you can you can get that instead. Can yes. you send a picture? I can see it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, I have the I have the video spotlighted. So maybe if you have the picture, you could put it in the chat room. There okay. should be a way you can put it. And then that you way. found the picture of it. Yeah. Right. Awesome. I well, appreciate it. Rice. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's the rice, and it's ready. It's gonna take one more minute. And uh, did I turn this on? Nope. <laughs> so we're gonna make everything for the legume. It's just gonna be missing the eggplant, and we can always add that later on. All right. So we're gonna start with our olive oil. Oh, I don't know my own kitchen. <laughs> Couple of tablespoons. <laughs> And I always like to start with my onion, garlic, and tomato paste. So is this one whole garlic that you chopped? There's two. Two garlic. Two garlic cloves. Two yeah. garlic cloves. Yeah. Epi. Did everyone did anyone use um my mom's video to make the epis. That was actually the very first video that we uploaded onto YouTube was the epis. So I was a very, I, I was a, a rookie at filming stuff. So the TV was on in the background and there was like a lot of distractions. Uh, and then they were like, and my mom was like, I'm not making that again. So just upload it. <laughs> but hopefully you guys got the gist of it. Okay. Is it um how much um what's the measurement for the onions? Onions, it's just one small onion. Just uh, dice it up. We're creating flavors right now. We're gonna let the onion caramel well not caramelize but um yes the until it gets uh, translucent. And then we're going to add some apis and the garlic and some tomato paste. Do you use red onion? You're just using a regular white onion. Can red onion be used? Uh, you can. Yes, absolutely you can. Yes, this video will be posted on YouTube. We actually have a legume episode on YouTube. Yeah. That's actually our second episode uh, that we made legume. But we just want to do this one live. Well, but I'm also ask, going. Sorry. Yeah, that's true. So, um, so yeah, but we're going to upload this one onto YouTube as well. All right, Nancy, thanks for joining us.
YouTube is good, but Nancy, nothing is better than live. Nancy, I, I met Nancy in um in Haiti on a, on a tour in oh. Haiti with um with uh, Bell in Haiti? No, she lives oh. in New York, in Brooklyn, oh. I think. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we stayed friends. So That's very cool. Uh, let's see. Looks good. So you said you just make this uh, until it's translucent. Mm -hmm. it kind of and it's like about uh, that. It took maybe one minute. And uh, I'm going to add garlic. Sometimes I make the mistake of frying my onions a little too hard, like they start turning brown. Does Some that, recipes that require flavor? that. Does that change the flavor of the of your food? Like if you fry your onions too hard? Not really. I wouldn't think so. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to add the apple. Couple of tablespoons. If you made a, if you left a question in the chat room and I haven't answered it yet, just uh, rewrite the question so it pops up on my screen. I'm not able to go into the chat room and still film, but as I'm filming, some of the questions pop up on my screen and I'm able to answer them. Oh, there's a tomato face. Thank you, Nima. 100% organic tomato face. Keep it up there. I want to take a picture. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm gonna add a little more. Oh, you had some in your in your pantry. <laughs> nice. You got it. Got it. Thank you. All right. Wow, how does all that work? I don't know. <laughs> Tomato paste, like two heaping tablespoons. You want the, uh, okay, can we can we leave the jar of the tomato paste? Oh yeah, I don't even know how that happened. Right. Let me um somebody put the screen up of the tomato paste, but I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh. <laughs> uh is that Nima? I didn't share it. It just pops up on my screen. It's see. probably the. It's probably uh, the, I shared it. You can't get rid of it. It's Nima. She has to stop sharing her screen. <laughs> it's it's the third oh, right. icon on the top. You see the the mute the video the share content. If you press it again, it'll go out. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh well, no. You cannot start here while other Yeah, Nima, are you able to to um pick God. that up? Yeah. Mm. Quickly leave and come back. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, thank there you. There we go. Uh-huh. All right, so um she added the tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. I have two tablespoons of tomato paste, and uh, I added the onion, and now we're just going to add the tomatoes. That's what you want. You want the tomato paste to start getting dark like that. So that's when you know it has, uh, the flavor has been, real, uh, you know, that the flavor is out. What's a better word for that? To ex extract the flavor. To extract the flavor. And at this point, I'm going to add some red bell pepper. Red 
No worry, it's not burning. That's what it's supposed to do. And I think I'm gonna add the priority. I think I was able to share my mom's YouTube channel in the chat room. So, um, but I've been copying and pasting a lot of YouTube channels lately. So hopefully that was my mom's. <laughs> what did she put in there? The That's white the thing. coyote, the one that I smashed. So we're gonna pick up all the flavor from the bottom and then stir it right back in there. Okay, and now I'm gonna add uh, maybe two, one cup of this, uh, of my uh, vegetable stock. Not a lot. <laughs> now, I know you probably wouldn't, of course, because you're the expert, but could you use store-bought vegetable stock? Can you use what? Store-bought vegetable stock. Oh, yes, you can. It's better to make yours. I need to that. I'm looking, my next stop is to look at the video for the vegetable stock. Oh, oh have we made one? No, oh, we haven't made one. But we could make one, it's very easy. All you have to do is um, add two times, two times onion, then... Uh, we'll make a video. <laughs> onions, carrots, and celery. So you put twice the amount of onion, then carrot and celery, and then fill it up with water and then let it simmer on low for like two, two hours. So what's gonna happen now, this is gonna, I'm gonna add the, uh, all the vegetables except for the carrot. <laughs> Someone said it looks like the history channel, not the cooking channel. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is better, the history channel? <laughs> well, I like the history channel. It's, it's a mix. Uh, I am a historian, and I love the history of the food. So this, I'm getting the best of both worlds. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to lower the heat and let this, this may look like a lot, but it's all going to, uh, stem it down and cook it down, reduce it a little bit. And then I'm gonna add this on me. And we're gonna check on the up. Oh, rice is ready. I'm gonna take it off the heat. Okay. Someone asked if you can use kale as a substitute for the spinach. Um, you can, but you'd have to cook the kale a lot longer. Because and then we move the rib, the middle part. Yeah, you know, it takes a lot longer. Oh, did I did I post my YouTube channel? <laughs> you see, I wasn't sure because I have my YouTube channel uh -huh. with my history stuff, and then I have your history cha your channel with the cooking stuff. Oh. So I must have posted mine by accident. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. But I think somebody found yours. I'm just going to get rid of some of this stuff. So we still have a couple of ingredients over here. Those are the ones that we still have. Yeah, so we still got the mushrooms, carrots, stuff like that, uh, paprika. Awesome. 
I love the technique that my mom uses for the eggplant. I know it's not, uh, there's actually a lot of different things. We, we're gonna have to do another uh, live cooking show, mom, because um, the way you make your rice also is not like how a lot of people make, make their rice. So my mom has like a lot of special techniques that's not the norm, but the food comes out amazing. Right, so. I mean, you know, I'm a trained cook. So <laughs> not everybody, you know. I mean, it's like it's you still retain the authentic flavor of Haitian food, but it's just a little different. Right, it's prepared a different way, and most most of it is to bring out more flavor. Right, exactly. And um, and, and retain the the nutrients of the food. Exactly. Um, you said it good for me. Thank you. <laughs> you said it Someone said, "Are we? Are you? Uh, are you going to open up a restaurant, or do would you like to open up a restaurant?" <laughs> uh, that used to be something I wanted to do, but I have been doing meal prep. If you guys are interested. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, opening up a restaurant was my dream, but. Now that I've learned about doing meal prep, so catering and catering, mm -hmm. doing parties, this is what I really love to do now. Yeah, absolutely. Because so, you get the overhead with the restaurant, you need all these employees, you mm -hmm. have electricity bills. Yeah, look at restaurants now. Mm -hmm. not, not really doing that great. So that's sort of like my business model too. I like to kind of like, you know, be like not a lot of overhead and be able to be a little what's the word i'm looking for like you can adapt easy like uh fluent <laughs> almost uh versatile you know like with restaurants you know you end up making a lot of the things mobile stuff like that you yeah. end up making a lot of the same things all the time and that could get boring Right. You know, with I enjoy doing meal prep. I have some uh, good clients that order from me every week, <laughs> and they pick up their foods on Monday, mm -hmm. and you know they just love it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. definitely, and then it lasts them for the week. Yeah, so. yeah. So we have we do meal prep like servings for four, or servings for eight, and that usually lasts the whole week. Two different entrees. Right. And, and then we do uh, catering, right? And uh, baby showers, baby weddings, showers, parties, birthday parties, you name it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is Don. I have a quick question. Yes. Um, with the rice, I just tasted my rice and to see if it was ready. Is the rice still still continuing to cook with the lid on? I was just wondering if it needs to cook any longer or how you gauge when it's ready. Um, you, the way you know that it's ready, I mean, you can tell that, uh, that it's nice and fluffy and there's no, this is, uh, this is what it should really look like. I still have the, yours is not ready. Did you taste it? I, I tasted it. I thought mine could use one or two more minutes, but maybe it's just the pot that I use. Yeah, I did use a cast iron pot, but... um. You see, that's another thing. Everybody's uh, equipment are not the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would think, though, with the cast iron did you pot... Use, would... Did you use jasmine rice or regular white rice? Jasmine rice. Yeah, you see, I'm on yeah, jasmine rice now. <laughs> 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 All right. Cool. Yeah, I may need a, a couple more minutes. And you did two cups of uh, water and two cups of rice? Yes, I did two cups of water, two cups of rice, tablespoon of oil. I was making it along with you, so. But, oh, uh, okay. but you know, it could be the brand of rice I used. I got some rice from BJ's I haven't used before, and so it might be the brand, too. I mean, I don't know if the brand makes a difference. It does, because okay. I've okay. had that same problem, too. Yeah, it was a new brand that I haven't used before, so. Yeah, but it usually, oh. sometimes it varies. You're right. 
All right. How about basmati rice? Someone asked about basmati rice. Oh my. It's a good rice, but uh, to me, it takes forever to cook. Like brown rice? Yeah. So I'm just going to mix everything in. Okay. Man, that, that looks healthy. <laughs> yeah. Like all those vegetables. So that way we can add the herb de Provence and the black pepper and the paprika. What are the measurements for the herb de Provence and the paprika and black pepper? The measurements? Uh, we yeah. said the measurements before, but um. Oh, the paprika is just one teaspoon of the Provence, one teaspoon, no, one tablespoon, and the black pepper, one tablespoon. Okay, thank you. No, the black pepper, one teaspoon. You didn't send it out? I sent it out. Oh, and then we're going to add the scotch bonnet. And I'm going to add two vegetable cubes. Like I said, that's optional. Mm -hmm. Or you can use chicken base. I mean, not chicken, vegetable base, because we're doing vegan. Are you cooking on low or medium? Right now, it's on medium. But I'm going to put it on low so that when I add the, what else goes in here? Oh, yeah, I can put some mushroom. And when you buy your mushroom, don't wash it under water. Just get a wet towel and wipe it. Or else it's going to absorb a bunch of water that you don't want in your dish. And that's the same reason I do my eggplant the way I do it also, to avoid all that excess water. Someone asked about the water from the spinach. Can you repeat that question? Rewrite your question, I didn't see it. Now, was there any water added before the spinach or is it just making its own water right now? Oh, I did uh, add about a cup of uh, vegetable stock. Okay, thank you. You're Man, that looks good. The only other thing is the carrot, but that's gonna go last. I'm gonna take a look at the, I'm gonna let this simmer and put it on low while I manage the eggplant. Is there a reason why you put the carrots in later, not with everything else? Yeah, you want the carrot to be al dente, meaning that when you bite it, it doesn't take like taste like mush. Right, it has right. a little bite to it. Because everything you cook, you want a little something crispy texture. And yeah. Texture. Man, all that cooking we did, and look how clean <laughs> this area is. Man. So it looks like this is ready. I'm done with this. Sorry. All right, so what do I need for this? This is uh, normally we would have to let it cool down a little bit. But is how long is this video already? <laughs> We're about an hour and a half in. So this is what your eggplant is gonna look like. One set done. Like hmm. The eggplant is a side dish, or you go put it in there. Oh no, it's gonna go in the legume with everything. It's going. It's going in there with all the vegetables. Yes. It's kind of hot right now to manage. 
usually I let it cool down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it got like really soft. Right, it's all way. cooked, and you don't have to boil it and then get rid of the water and all that water ends up in your in your um, pot. Mm -hmm. So hold on. Yeah, so it's like really hot right now, but yeah. I mean, I guess the goal is to remove all of the, the fiber from the skin. Right, all the fiber or membrane, whatever you want to call it. If you don't want to put eggplant, is you don't have to, right? If you don't want to put eggplant, you don't have to. Oh, you don't have to. It's like a lot of things you can do or you, you, you know, you make it yours. Uh, if you like, uh, if you like um, different kind of vegetables, you can, yeah, you can put zucchini, but zucchini is tricky. You don't want it to cook too much. Would you say that the eggplant is the main ingredient of for, the, this, for this dish? Well, in our country, yeah. This is actually they call it the whole dish. They call it Beijing. Mm -hmm. Beijing is uh, Asian Creole for eggplant. Right. You don't like eggplant? I think someone was saying that they it's, were. It's not like that. I don't like it. it it um itches my um tongue. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Someone asked if they could leave the skin on. No. <laughs> you can if you want. Like I'm making it right now. If a little bit of skin is left in there, that's fine. Because the skin is edible. I just I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> I find that a lot of people are allergic to eggplant, like I am too. It'll give me a rash behind my knees or in between, you know, my forearm. Um, really? So a lot of people are allergic to it. Wow, I didn't know that. I'm allergic and my husband is allergic to it. What do you know? Wow. wow. I'm trying my best to do this, but it's hot. If you can let yours cool down, that'd be the best thing. That's what I wanted to do with the hair time, but. Nah, this is like an important part for people to see. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, uh, a lot of people who make legume, they don't make it this way. So this is uh, uh, another way that uh, people can make their legume. And I guess they'll be the judge once you taste it. Yeah. Let us know how it comes out. So we can mash this and put it in there. Okay. We still have another one in there. I know, too. but uh, I don't know. Oh, so you could get rid of this and then oh, do the actually, other one. Yeah. Please, you don't have to let me <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> With the apis, do you need a blender for the apis that you do? Yes. A blender or what is that? magic bullet. Uh, magic bullet. Yeah. Yeah, we, we used a uh, magic bullet for the apis. Mm -hmm. But you can, you use can a blender. also make it in a food processor if you don't like uh, everything to be blended up. Like, uh, the eggplant, the eggplant was baked for like about an hour, uh, I would say, but it's uh, until you can, you see how she pushed right. yeah. in there. So as long as it's not hard when you push your finger in there to test it. I wish this was cold already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just for the sake of the show, but usually we would um, let, it cool, let it cool down for a yeah. few minutes before we try to. You know, take out bum. It's very hot right yeah. now. So try not to burn yourselves, everybody right. out there. <laughs> Be careful. Look at my hand. I'm all burnt up. <laughs> okay. This is really hot. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a minute. Yeah, let's let cool that down. cool off a little bit. But that's what the the fiber of it, or the, right, the membrane it of it is. Like. And if you find that it has a lot of uh, seed, which this one doesn't, you can remove these if you don't. It's like this. These are just the seeds. Mm -hmm. This is probably the rash, what gives you the rash. <laughs> All right, thanks this for This one was good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Okay. Somebody left? Yeah, someone left. I think uh, Keisha had to leave. Thanks for joining us, Keisha. It's Kestia. It's okay. I have to leave, okay. um, but I'll look, I'll look forward to the next session. Take good care, everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, thank you for joining us. And then what I'll do, once I upload this video to YouTube, I'll send out an email to, to everyone with the link to this video. So let me just put this in there. And then this is looking really good. Yes. Gonna feed more than five. Yeah, that's a that's a good amount we have in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it just has to come together, getting to know each other. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna raise the heat. Since we're almost there. So you put the heat on low, like really low. I did. I just raised it to medium. Oh, you raised it. Yeah. Okay, you raised it to medium. Right. Because we're almost done. Alright. Let's go be your next cooking section. Mm. <laughs> Somebody asked for chaka. So, I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, if you have any suggestion, we're more than happy to. Yes, the tomato was added in there. Love chakra. Yes, please put that next. Yeah, I think you have a lot of people agreeing to the chakra. So I'll be interested in seeing what, how that's is, made too. The chakra is with corn, right? Like the. Hard it's corn, corn like and beans and uh, um, jumu, you know what's jumu? Um, pumpkin, is that what they call it? Ooh, yes, pumpkin. I know, I know that one too. Right, and, uh, and I think that's about it. Well, that's wonderful. I've just gone planting, so I'm, this is just wonderful i'm I'm so happy that i'm able to see this video and i'm looking forward to your others i'm gonna just launch your website and get everything you can get all of them <laughs> thank you i hope uh, everything comes out good for you i used to I like tried to go, i try to go in detail you know i used to like my legging with um seafood Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What, what kind of seafood do you like? Shrimp or crab. Yep. We were actually thinking about putting crab in this, but um I didn't I didn't feel like going to the fish market. <laughs> yeah. oh, like my clear boutique, across, really? There was across town and you know, with all this quarantine stuff, there's always a line to get into the supermarket. Well, next time make makes one with um, seafood. I want to see that one too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you made seafood, it's pretty much the same process of the legume. But when when would you add the crab and and all that? I stuff? would cook the crab first and use the same pot to make the. That's my uh, that's a bouquet gani. It has uh, thyme, parsley and uh, bay leaf 
Yes, so same with the crab um, is the same way with the meat. Like you would season your meat and then cook it in the same pot that you're going to make the legume mm -hmm. and then remove the meat once it's soft. Right, and then do the legume. And then make the legume in the same pot. And then I guess you would add it like around. At the end, you add it. At the end, yeah. yeah. Ooh, is it hot in here or is it me? No, it's hot in here. Oh. And I got my face mask on, so my whole <laughs> nose like and, and mouth is just sweat. Yeah. So you need to try oh, something and on. You just have to taste, see what it means. Let's see. It looks so good right now. Right. Yes. I'm my, gonna add a teaspoon Yeah, my stomach of salt. is getting ready. Te teaspoon of salt. Yeah. Salt to taste. Right. And a little squeeze of lemon juice. Yeah, I apologize to everyone. I didn't put the, the lemon in the ingredients. But um it's just a little squeeze of lemon juice. I'm just put it in there in case there's any seeds. Can you pass me that little password over there? Mm -hmm. My sushi. <laughs> Not this, the small, small. Oh, the small. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in Gonna flip it. I think I'm gonna. Uh, are the kids gonna eat this? Yes. Oh, you don't want it spicy? Um, a little bit. What was just added? Well, uh, a teaspoon of lemon juice was just added. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, don't break the don't break the pepper unless we unless we take some out and and put it separately. But we don't have to do that. We have some peakly. We still have some peaklies left over if you want oh, yeah. to spice it up. Did oh, you add the gonna... lemon juice because you wanted to make sure there were no seeds? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Taste. Always good to taste. Mm -hmm. With my mask on. Okay. Good. Yep. I think we're just gonna. Let it reduce a little more, and then we're done. When do we add the uh, carrots? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Mm. That's a lot. But I tell you, it's gonna go fast. <laughs> oh, I know. It's two a lot. If Tupac is watching, he'll be right over here. You just added, how much lemon juice did you add? A teaspoon. Oh, uh, one teaspoon. Yeah, one teaspoon of uh, lemon. Voila. Awesome. See, if I didn't do the eggplant like I did it, you would have had m even more liquid because it carries a lot of liquid. So this is your vegan dish. The only other thing I need to put in there is some butter. Nice. So you, if you want it truly vegan, you could stop right here. <laughs> right, <laughs> but, exactly. But uh, you like to add a little butter. So what, what does the butter do for The butter, you know, butter makes everything taste good. <laughs> but the butter Actually, gives There is some vegan butter that is really pretty good. Right, I don't have any, so I really should have gotten some, and I'm putting some in the. Yeah, we're not vegan. <laughs> so, right. yeah. A lot of people ask for a vegan dish, so that's why I decided to do it without meat. So everybody on both, you know, could be happy. Um, someone asked about coconut oil instead of butter. 
you can use coconut oil, but we, we, we use uh, olive oil, but uh, the butter just takes it to another level. Yes. Wow, that looks good. Yeah. So, Ooh, man, amazing. So let's give it like a... Uh, is this where you would add the meat and seafood? At this and then point? you would add the meat and seafood, let them... Let them... Uh, Get to know each other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, mix it up in there. Let's mix it up in there and then let it go for maybe 10 more minutes and then you'll be done, just like what's going on right here. You need, the, you need it to reduce a little more and then you're ready to play. Awesome. Yeah. My favorite part. I know. Because <laughs> I get to eat. I said, look into that vegan butter. I didn't know about um, that. Someone asked. Oh, that's um, vegan everything. And if you guys want me to make more vegan stuff, I would love to because I'm trying to get away from. Yes, you're yes, at the yes, meat. Yes, this more point. vegan stuff. More vegan stuff. Thank you. I need some, <laughs> I need some seafood too. Right, and uh, we can make. Uh, oh, we made the poisson guisel. We, we can one make time. fish. We can make uh, grilled lobster. Salmon. We can make lumbi salmon. Oh, the lumbi was a good show. What else? <laughs> More wheat. Yeah. Oh, the sugar. Um, I think I had sugar in the ingredients. Did I? Oh yes, you did. That's what's missing. Okay, thank you. Who am I? <laughs> yes, we, uh, I believe the lumbi is in the on the YouTube channel. Uh, oh, we're adding the sugar. That was uh, we missed the sugar, so we're gonna add it now. Thank you. Yes, we have Jerry John John in on the. Now I I don't really do sugar at all, and if it tastes as good as you say, you don't really need the sugar, right? You really don't need it. It's just. Uh... I've, uh, I've always put it in. You probably have a different taste with the bitterness, probably. You really don't need it, but it blends in with all the um, vegetables that's in there. It, uh, it blends in well with it. Yeah, it's hard to, to think that like, you need anything else in here because <laughs> when it's already done. tastes this is good. Delicious. You can so. Just like when you're doing pasta, the bitterness, so it's, sometimes they put sugar. Yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. Well, All right, thank you, Rose Floor, for joining us. Uh, I want to, I want a plate. That's what I want. I want to have a nice plate with some rice and some sauce. Okay. And do you, do y'all want to see us eat? <laughs> 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 well, how about we plate? Because my mom likes to do presentation. Plating. So what oh, we're Plating so is good. Watching you eat would, would be a little torturous at this point. <laughs> I know, especially if y'all didn't cook it. So, um, so yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to plate it, and then we'll take a few bites, and then we'll end it there. So, um, so someone said that they're adding meat to theirs, so should they uh -huh. still um, put sugar? Would you still recommend sugar if yeah. they're putting meat? Mm -hmm. The sugar is mostly for the bacon. All right. Yeah. All right. So but not a lot, right? Say that again? Not a lot of sugar, right? No, no. How, how much sugar was it? It was like a tablespoon. No, like a, little teaspoon. a teaspoon. It, was, it wasn't a lot. Yeah, so guys, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because uh, we post stuff every, well, we used to post stuff every week. We've slowed down since all this, you know, quarantine stuff. But are we gonna pick it back up real soon? Uh, this we made a lot of stuff, but there's still a lot of stuff to make. In fact, uh, my mom makes her own. Someone said dessert and uh, stuff, but my mom makes a dessert like uh, pate and um, uh, pan pat and uh, what's the what's the coffee the coffee chew? Coffee chew. Let me show. I make a uh, confiture shadek, and then I make pickles. Yes. Confiture shadek I... is my favorite. My grandmother used to make it. Oh my God, it's I would love to have it. No, this I is love... so good. I now, just had Now, explain what that is. 
Huh? She said, what, what is it? It's like a grapefruit marmalade, they call it. It's so good with butter and bread. Oh my God. Uh, um, bread, yeah. My mom just baked some bread and we had it with some bread. Um, I'm already in love with it. <laughs> That's what she used this for to make the these little uh, flowers. That's the grapefruit. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, and you just like in the you morning with like some coffee. coffee. Um, there's, there's something that my grandmother used to make with peaches, and she used to put cannel in it. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's like that's a, the same thing, but this one is thing. grapefruit. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's good, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. But there's a trick to it, because you use the, the membrane, the white part, like when you peel the grapefruit, uh, the, the part that's in between the grapefruit and the fruit itself, that's what we use to make this. Yeah, the part but that's in between of, the skin and the grapefruit, that, right. that pith part. The pith. We like the guava one, the guayav. Oh, God, that's my it's favorite. so good. <laughs> I All miss right. it so much. Yeah, and these and these peaklies are bomb, too. Yeah. All so, right, time for the plating. I have a show on how to make peaklies, but um, not with vinegar, though. Not not with vinegar, you said? Yes, oh, with the peaklies. Because I know they no. make peaklies without vinegar. Right? You could is put the correct? red vinegar or the white one, whichever one. The red one is I better. Use I use the heard. white white distilled vinegar, but you can use apple cider. You can use whatever you want. You can use white wine. <laughs> but there's no peaklies without vinegar, with just lime juice. Uh you can you can make it with lime juice. I would imagine it would be very like pungent, like very. Um, Sour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would. I don't know how it would come it's out. Just, but. It's just that in the restaurants, it seems that it doesn't taste the same as the bottled pickles. Like if you go to a restaurant and you get pickles, it tastes different than the actual bottled one that you know, like the one you have. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's not name the restaurants where you get the bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, all right, let's plate. Oh, man. Right. Um, I don't know how I should plate it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to plate it like this. We're going to put this at the bottom. Bon appetit. Yes. Yes, ma'am. My mom likes to get creative with her plating. <laughs> This is just gonna be at the bottom. Well, you know, the presentation, the visual is, is the first thing that, other than the aroma, that's gonna draw you in. So I appreciate someone who's gonna put care into the plating. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> all the way down to the plate. Even the, the plate matches the food with the gold rim, the gold and black rim. <laughs> and the other thing also that you need to do, you have to remove the bouquet garni because that's the that's one of the things you have to do before you do anything because you don't want to put that in anybody's plate. Man, that looks good. Is that my plate? <laughs> Wait, it can be on top of the rice. It have to be on the bottom. Well, you can really plate it any way you, you like. Uh, like usually, if you go to restaurants, they put everything separate, like the rice separately, the legumes separately, the sauce pot separately. But, you know, you can plate it any way you wish. Right. It's up to you how you plate it. I'm just going to put it like this. It depends how much rice you want. Well, you know, if this is my plate, then you don't got to worry about how much That's rice That's about it. <laughs> All right, so we could go like this. Yeah. And then we can use yes. something else for the pork. Yeah, that's my plate. <laughs> oh, we got 
I take the wicked gun. Can anyone make the sospa? How did your sospa? Someone said their sospa came out good. Oh, yeah? Made yeah. sospa, it came out good. Awesome. awesome. How's your. Um, this thing came up. I can't remember. The mid, uh, the dumplings. I didn't make dumplings. It was too fast <laughs> for me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm slow right now. <laughs> you can always look the video again. Catherine said her sauce bar came out great. She used the red beans instead of the black. Voila. <laughs> All right. Mm. Awesome. I don't have a matching thing, but I can't believe I made legume and it actually looks like that. That's awesome. Thank you guys. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining us. Right. And thank you for participating. We yeah. appreciate it. It was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, it's you May. So May tomato paste is a little more white than what I'm mm -hmm. looking at right now. You can add more tomato paste if you um yeah well you know it's may may is haitian heritage month so uh also we have there's a whole calendar of events happening this month so if you go to the haitian american <laughs> collaborative they have a whole bunch of different events they have other chefs doing other um things as, as well oh yeah yeah that is that? it's on sundays like next sunday they oh. have something going on as well so but this is the first one. Mm -hmm. And um, but this is our own Beaumont Che with Chef Maya Alice as well. So <laughs> all right, yeah, that, that looks good. So you're gonna give it a taste? Yep. It's all right. Talk to y'all later because I can't see y'all eating. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. How's it taste? Mm. You'll enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye. You're welcome. Uh, Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for joining us Wait, today. Man, we yep. want to be able to see you, too. We haven't seen you the whole show. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm usually behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, I don't usually show my face during these shows. But um, okay. plus I got my mask on and everything. You won't see anything. Yeah, let me hold okay. them. So they can all right. All right. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> oh, now my hands are free. Now I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have to go wash my hands. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm the writer. She's the cook. So, um, this is amazing, 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 amazing. I'm so ready to, to do this. Yes, mm. indeed. Yeah. All right, everybody. So that's the end of the show because I'm about to eat. <laughs> So Bye. thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, we're going to post this video on YouTube and everyone that RSVP'd for, the, um, for this event, for this show, then you're gonna receive an email later on today with the link to the YouTube. So, um, so look out for that later on and hope everybody's food came out great. Right. And hopefully if you didn't make it right now, you make it later, it comes out just <laughs> as amazing. So thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you everybody. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Stay blessed. Stay safe. <laughs> and, uh, let us know what you would like us to make uh, next time. And uh, we love you. All right. Bon appétit everybody. Bye bye. Thank you so much. All right. Take care everyone. Bye bye.